to see what kind of chemistry Trey and Dream have tonight as this is their very first time teaming together. And on top of that, they're facing a seasoned duo and heavy machinery with the added stakes of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Well, speaking of stakes, heavy machinery have returned to NXT with one goal in mind. That's to accomplish something they were never able to do before leaving for WWE. Win the Dusty Classic. Right to the gut You know, we can stay here, guys Boom, right to the button Oh, nasty impact Such vicious strikes Nice, hip toss I wasn't expecting that One of DDT mm, Good night He's feeling the effects of that last hit it's no secret that quick tags lead to success in the tag team division. And I'd say the quicker he can make that tag here, the better their chances of winning will be. There is a statement that Velveteen Dream is an attention seeker. I mean, why else wear all the frilled shirts and jeweled outfits? Hmm, why else? How about because he's a fashion icon? Anyway, the only thing that matters is what you do in the ring. And let me tell you, Velveteen Dream can do pretty much anything. In off the tag. Struggling to get to the corner here. Why not make it, Michael? Well scouted reversal there. You're he is just reeling from that offense. He needs a breather in a bad way right now. If he could just make it to his corner and make the tag. Oh, what a crash. Boom. Kick. That's it. And here's a cover. That's it for this tech. You all have history with one another, but at NXT TakeOver, more history will be made when you'll compete in a triple threat match for Candice LeRae's NXT Women's Championship. Now, if you could each sign your names on the contract, we can make this match official. Before we sign anything, I want to ask what you're doing out here with that trophy. You think you're real cute, don't you? This thing? I actually bring it everywhere. The grocery store, the gym, car wash, contract signings. I even sleep with it sometimes. Helps remind me of how I won the Mae Young Classic on my very first try. But who did I beat in the finals? Huh. I can't remember. I don't have time for this. You might want to stick around for a preview of what I'm going to do at TakeOver. And thanks to Rhea Ripley, this contract signing has officially gone off the rails. I mean, when do they ever stay on the rails, Byron? Rhea Ripley's going on a rampage. And now Rhea's using the Mae Young Classic trophy as a weapon. Uh, that's what Red gets for bringing it out here. It looks like Red has some kind of eye injury. No one deserves that, Corey. I don't give a damn about that. This is what I want. I'm so sorry. This is my fault. Rhea Ripley made a statement tonight. She will destroy anything in her path to capture the NXT Women's Championship. As this Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic semi-final match gets underway, I'll be watching whether Trey can stay focused after what happened last week to his best friend Red at the hands of Rhea Ripley. Yeah, we've been told Red is home recovering with an eye injury, and it's not certain whether she'll be cleared for NXT TakeOver. Well, given what I've seen so far from Trey, I don't think his brain's capable of focusing on multiple things at once. So unless Velveteen Dream can carry their team to victory tonight, I fully expect the Street Profits to advance. 
Jones. Oh, man. Right up the apron. Oh, man. As we've seen countless times over the years, superstars oftentimes try to make a statement with their entrance. And I think it's safe to say that Velveteen Dream did just that, firing at NXT TakeOver Philadelphia. Yeah, and leave it to Velveteen Dream to bring out an entourage prior to one of the biggest matches of his career. Well-executed arm drag. Angelo Dawkins just too quick. Saw that one coming. Yank right up the apron. Oh, no. Now he's been put on the defensive. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition's attack. Though the thought of making a tag doesn't necessarily appear to be on his mind right now. Back suplex. Ooh. Very nice. To elaborate a little more on Velveteen Dream's takeover Philadelphia entrance you guys mentioned. For me, the best part was watching Dream have his customized mouth guard inserted by a member of said entourage. Yeah, that mouth guard was on a feather bed pillow, mind you. And he wore fancy airbrushed boxing trunks to the ring that said, Dream over. And that night, he was standing tall over his opponent. Outrageous athleticism on the Hurricanrana. Two! Oh, Montez Ford turning the tables. Four. Oh, I knew that was coming. Not where you want to be at this point in the match, guys. Definitely not. How impressive was that reversal? executed. Really needs to get to the corner and make a tag. Otherwise, this match may be over sooner than... Boom. Is that enough for the win? He's not done fighting yet. Yeah, he's not done yet. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bockwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. Needs to make it to the court. Dream Valley Driver. We all know what's next. Did Trey just tag himself in? What is he thinking? Trey with his version of the Purple Rainmaker. And it's all over. Trey and Velveteen advance to the finals of the Dusty Classic. Look at this clown celebrating like he accomplished something. He stole the win from Velveteen Dream. All that matters is they won and they're advancing. And look, Velveteen approves. Yeah, well, I don't. takeover where we have huge breaking news red has officially been cleared to compete for the nxt women's championship against candace LeRae and rhea ripley who brutally attacked red just a few weeks ago in addition to that enormous match we also have the finals of the dusty Rhodes tag team classic where trey and velveteen dream will take on the viking raiders well byron in all your excitement you forgot to mention that since the women's championship match is back to a triple threat that also means it'll be no disqualification which if you ask me only means trouble for candace and red hey i heard the good news you were cleared but uh you sure you're okay i'm only sure of one thing i'm going to annihilate rhea ripley 
She almost took everything from me, but her mistake was she stopped at almost. Tonight, I won't stop. At least your match is no DQ. That way you can take care of Rhea and still win the title, so that's good. Ooh. I'd say it's very good. <sighs> it's beautiful, isn't it? Yes. The dream's reflection is beautiful. Right. Well, that trophy could be ours, but I was thinking we still don't feel like a real team. And a big part of that is because we don't have matching outfits like all the great tag teams throughout history. So, I went and had these made. I hope you like them. I love them. These three women have crossed paths before, but never with so much on the line. Yeah, a big match on the Indies can put you on the map. The Mae Young Classic can kickstart a career, but becoming NXT Women's Champion can define a career. But are you guys forgetting that Red's out here competing half blind? I mean, I realize she was cleared, and she's obviously not 100%. The real story is whether Candice LeRae will be able to stop Rhea Ripley from taking her title. As far as I'm concerned, Red's a non-factor. I would never say that, Corey. In fact, Red's got an extra gear of anger, and I think she might be able to use that to her advantage tonight. Hooked him up. High angle belly to back suplex. Overhand right lands. Great counter. Impressive in-ring IQ on display. She's out of it, guys. Using the ropes, bam! Springboard roundhouse, good night! Candice LeRae with a beautiful counter. Oh, a step up in Zagari. Oh, what a right! Yeah, that's some attitude behind it. Buster! Here she goes, back in the ring now. Roundhouse kick. Drop kick! Great height. Little kick on the mark. Boom. Super kick. We can have a new champion. Ho oh, ho. Good night. Sorry. Close line. The champion into the cover. One, two, and there's the kick out. She's not done yet. Connects. Judo kick. Uh -huh. Inside the ring now. Oh, I'm going right after the neck. And it's reversed. Paying for that mistake. What a proper cut. The champ eyes look good. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. One, two, three. Red's done it. She's overcome what could have been a career in the injury to become the new NXT Women's Champion. We just witnessed one of the gutsiest performances in NXT history. I'll be the first to admit I was wrong about Red. This was no fluke tonight. She earned every ounce of the gold she now holds in her hands. And there you see Red crossing this achievement off her list. One of many significant things she may go on to cross off in her career. A truly inspiring moment. For the first time since they started teaming, Trey and Velveteen Dream make their entrance together. Uh, and they've got brand new matching gear. Look
Looking good. Maybe they've turned a corner as far as your team chemistry goes. It's one thing to wear the same gear as your partner, but the real test is going to be in the ring. If these two are on the same page when it really matters, the Viking Raiders are going to slaughter them. Look at Trey's moves. He's clearly been studying Velveteen's entrances. Oh, that time would have been better spent watching film on the Viking Raiders, but what's new? This guy's priorities have been out of whack since day one. To be fair, Corey, Velveteen Dream is known for his eccentric entrances, but always delivers when the bell rings, so why can't Trey do the same thing? Well, that's easy. He doesn't have the same level of natural talent that Velveteen has. And besides, look at this guy. He looks like a goof out here trying to do Velveteen's mannerisms. If you're going to put that much effort into your entrance, at least get your own style. Uh, he's just trying to be a good teammate. It's all in good fun. Well, if this is your idea of fun, then that explains a lot. Nonetheless, these two have had an unexpected and impressive run to make it here to the finals. It kind of reminds me of last year when Ricochet and Aleister Black were a somewhat unlikely pairing, and they went on to win the entire tournament. We could see a similar outcome tonight. Uh, highly unlikely. The Viking Raiders have teamed thousands of times all over the world while Trey and Velveteen barely know each other. You can't overstate that kind of advantage. I, I hear you, but look at these synchronized moves. I'm telling you, these two are ready. As this Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic final match gets underway, both of these teams look to join a prestigious group of previous winners. Yeah, the first tournament in 2015 included a star-studded field that was won by the team of Samoa Joe and Finn Balor. That's right. Other teams that have their names etched on the trophy include the Authors of Pain in the Undisputed Era. Look, I'm sorry, but the team of Trey and Velveteen Dream doesn't belong among the names you mentioned. The Viking Raiders, however, fit quite nicely. Well, before we just go hand out a trophy to anyone, let's see what happens in this match. Have you ever seen a human being tossed like that? Guys, at the risk of sounding like an amateur psychologist, it seems pretty clear that Velveteen Dream absolutely thrives on attention. Nah, don't worry, you just sound like an amateur commentator. Saw what he had in mind there. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Hey, He's getting a little batter now. It looks to me like his partner's itching to get in there. And now might be a good time to give him what he wants. Whoa, it's another reversal. Gonna be woozy after that impact. It, boom. Kick. Glad I put my money on that guy tonight. Comes in off the tag. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers. Steve. Dream Valley Driver! And Velveteen Dream tags Trey. It actually looks like he wants Trey to go to the top rope and hit the Purple Rainmaker. I told you they're on the same page now. Velveteen Dream has come to his senses. Velveteen Dream has essentially sacrificed Trey to their opponents. He has no chance. It's over. Well, face it, guys, the better team won just like I thought they would. Maybe we're going to get an explanation from Velveteen Dream. This is on you, partner. You called the Dream out, and you questioned the Dream's authenticity. But the Dream never needed some repulsive trophy for validation. The Dream already knew that there was only one Dream, and that is the Velveteen Dream. At one point, 
I considered letting you win this thing because the dream felt sorry for your desperate need for success. But then, you repeatedly stole the dream spotlight, leeching off the dream's moves, the dream's look, and anything else you can get your hands on. But it's like the saying goes, imitation is the sincerest form of battery. Oh no, uh, are those handcuffs? Guys, nice, handcuffed and trade of the ropes, just like how this all started. This is getting ugly, the man's helpless. We need someone to put an end to this right now. Well, I'm by no means advocating what's happening, but you have to admit, Trey brought this upon himself. The moment he mentioned Velveteen Dream's name, he was asking for trouble. Uh, pardon me, Red, Trey, you both have huge matches tonight. Do you have a second to comment? No. Yeah, we do. So Candice LeRae has invoked her rematch clause in an Iron Woman match. Now, after everything you've been through, are you ready for your first NXT women's title defense? Well, considering I'll actually be able to see this time, I think I'm more than ready. Trey, you are going to face Velveteen Dream in the first ever No DQ Spotlight match, where in order to win, you must steal your opponent's finishing move. Now, how have you prepared for this unique stipulation? I haven't had to. I've used his purple Rainmaker before, but he's never used my finisher. And on top of that, I might have another trick or two up my sleeve, because you never know when you might need it. I might have taken you lightly in our last match because you were injured, but I won't make that mistake tonight. If I was able to beat two opponents with only one good eye, what do you think is gonna happen when I only have one opponent and my vision back? I think you'll be able to get a real good look at me standing over you with the title, back where it belongs. <laughs> Sweet fanny pack. Thanks. I was kidding. Anyway, what were you talking about having a trick up your sleeve? Well, actually, it's more like a trick down my pants. That sounds incredibly creepy. Yeah, I hear it now. Uh, let me give you a sneak peek. Still creepy. Okay, I should rephrase. One of my tricks is I'm gonna wear a special outfit to get in Velveteen's head like he does to his opponents. There's three options I'm considering. Which one should I go with? Thanks for your help with that. I'm gonna need every little advantage I can get to defeat him. Look, it's Velveteen Trey! He's even got a fanny pack! We've seen Velveteen Dream wear unique outfits in an effort to get inside his opponent's heads, and now it appears Trey has fallen a page from Velveteen's playbook. Uh, so what else is new? He's been stealing from Velveteen's playbook for the last month. That's how they ended up here tonight. It's a nice toss, but I think Trey's gonna need to do a whole lot more to rattle Velveteen. I don't know about that. He looks like he might be rattled right now. I'd chalk that up to pure annoyance more than anything else. How can you tell the difference? After years of putting up with you, I'm pretty much an expert on the subject. Well, the time for psychological warfare is over. Let's find out who will prevail in this unprecedented first ever spotlight match. This no disqualification spotlight match 
came about when Velveteen Dream felt Trey was, quote, stealing the spotlight from him when they were partners in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Classic. It puts both men in a unique situation. There are no pinfalls or submissions. The only way to win the match is by using your opponent's finishing move. Velveteen Dream might be unconventional, but he's also one of the most gifted athletes in sports entertainment. I'm sure he'll handle himself just fine under these conditions. Oh, look at this. Look at the suplex off the top bro. Oh, oh man. Jeez. Take all the wind out of you. Showing some quickness. And this match can change that fast. Vicious, aggressive attacks. An incredible combination. He might have been waiting on that one. Well, that'll leave a mark. He skirts away, living to fight another day. And he's heading back in. Velveteen Dream with the reversal. It's only a matter of time before he hits Trey's finisher. Where's Velveteen going? Oh no. Are those handcuffs? Not again. It appears we're going to have a repeat of what happened after the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Final. And guys, keep in mind this match is no disqualification. So this is perfectly legal. It might be legal, but it's clear Velveteen Dream's priority isn't winning the match. It's injuring Trey, possibly even ending his career. Hey, this is the match Trey signed up for. He wanted the spotlight. Well, now he's got it. Wait a minute. What's Trey doing? He had a key hidden in his tights. He's unlocking the handcuffs and Velveteen Dream has no idea. This goes back to their very first encounter when Trey handcuffed himself to the ropes and Velveteen had a key. Somehow, Trey actually learned something. Velveteen still has no clue that Trey is free. Velveteen Dream! I never thought I'd see that happen. And now Trey with the steel chair! This is a huge turning point in this match. Trey has now gained complete control over Velveteen Dream. This is going to be big, one way or the other. Setting up again. A couple of months ago, Trey Hijack and NXT broadcast desperate for the spotlight. Well, after this huge victory over Velveteen Dream, he's now earned it. I don't think it was his plan from the beginning, but it certainly worked out in his favor. Maybe Velveteen Dream isn't ready to concede the spotlight just yet. He's got that loaded fanny pack that Trey used earlier. What are we witnessing? Is this some kind of strange sign of respect from Velveteen Dream? It's almost like he's putting the championship around the Trey's waist. That was certainly bizarre, but nonetheless a huge win for Trey tonight. Guys, in Red's short reign as NXT Women's Champion, she's already successfully defended her championship on several occasions, but never in a match like this. Putting your title on the line in an Iron Woman match is essentially like defending it multiple times in one night with no break in between. It can be extremely taxing, to say the least. Well, I have to do commentary with you, Saxton. She's in full control now. Roundhouse kick!
believe that Candace's opponent will need to do all she can to keep her tied to the mat to keep the dead devil in Larray at bay. Yeah, Michael, it might be best to counter Larray's high-flying style with mat-based wrestling and submission holds. What are we going to see here? Hung up on the second rope. Neckbreaker. Oh, and she makes an escape. Probably looking to catch her breath, I would guess. Just a step quicker. Now in full control. Oh, right to the face. Finds its mark. She's in control. Sidewalk slam. Right up. The champ teetering on the edge. Yeah, this could be the end of the road for him. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Things aren't looking good for her. Anticipated that attack. Boom. Kick. Now the champion into the cover. Late in the match, and the challenger gets a fall. She's got her where she wants her. She's still in this and scores the late fall. Dropped right on their face. For the championship! She kicks out again. Not yet. Stomping. Ouch. But what a cross face. Battling to get the upper hand. Look at that. She escapes. Talk about coming up clutch, guys. Oh my gosh! What an uppercut! Shoulders down! Championship on the line! Stunner! Cover by the champ! You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal! At this point, I think it's safe to wonder if the champ will ever lose the gold. I'd like to think we just saw one of the greatest title matches in a very long time. I hope you enjoyed it, folks.